Oh, g'day, welcome to Farming Live Australia. I'm doing this project at the moment. I haven't had our old crate on this truck before. And for those of you who don't know what a crate is, it's that back on there that holds the cattle when we're transporting them. And you can see that the crate is quite a bit shorter than the actual truck body, so I'm going to have to extend that and fix that up. I can't hold it on the way I used to because the back's a bit different, so I've got to organise something different to actually hold the crate on. The only thing that's really about the same is the width. That's the same, but everything else is different. This crate was sitting up in the air on a gantry thing I made to hold it up. And when I put it on the back of the truck, it was actually overhanging the back a fair bit, so I had to adjust it somehow. And I had to be really careful when I did it because if it moved from side to side, it could fall off the back of the truck. It's just sitting there. The first part of this process was to figure out some sort of a plan and these, I made these brackets here while I was thinking about it and I'll weld them on later on. They hold the gate at the back. Oh, I made some other brackets as well that I'm going to use but what I discovered was that I had, and I'd forgotten all about it, I actually had a divider for this crate and I figured out I can probably cut it up and use it. This is the divider I had for the crate and uh, once I realised I had it I thought oh well I can cut that up and use it to extend the crate and make it fit. I don't really need a divider panel, it is handy but I need sides on the crate at this stage more than I need a divider panel. I have to cut all the unneeded pieces off the divider so I start off with cutting as deep as I can with a 5 inch angle grinder and then after that I just cut it off with a reciprocating saw what's left because it has a far greater reach than the angle grinder. I've got the first bit fitted in roughly and it's going to fit alright. What I have to do now is just wedge it in a couple of spots before I weld it weld it in place and then get on to the other side. Okay the first thing we're going to have to do is change the wire because this is wire for gas and I'm going to use gasless. Okay this is the wire we're going to use it says self-shielded flux cord welding wire. It just means that instead of having gas to keep the oxygen off the weld, it's just got a flux in the centre of it. You see here where this has been welded on here, it's cracked along here, so I'm going to have to re-weld that before I start.
We'll clean down from the welding and put it back up on the truck and weld it up permanently. We finished welding the small panels in the front where the gap was and that worked quite well, there's no problem. Along the top I welded another beam, a piece of 40 by 40 RHS to tie the two sides together and now it's all good and strong, all properly welded. So now we'll get on to the next bit. I've got the crate put on properly now and I've got a couple of pins in the front of each side like this. I've got load binder straps that are permanently attached to the truck and I've used them in three places to hold the body down as well as pins and I've got a few bolts. It's pretty well hooked on. Along here I put some brackets in three places along the sides just so that there was no way if it got a bump it could jump inside the tray. At the back on the truck I welded a couple of brackets as well that'll have bolts that go through them to hold strategic points on the crate. As you can see here as well. So all in all I think it'll be pretty good. I, I don't think there'll be any problems at all. The only thing I've got to do now is take it off and give it a good paint and also the truck needs a bit of a paint here and there too so that's about the only thing left to do but I'll probably wait till I move the cattle and then I'll paint it all up properly. Well thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. We'll see you next time. Thank you.